It's Alejandro Duarte from Vadin, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to send email notifications using Spring and Vadin. And so, for, for that, we're going to use this uh, sample application that I developed in previous videos. So, go and check those videos if you are interested in how I uh, implemented all these classes. Um, what we have here right now is a, a login page, and there's an option for registering yourself within the application. It's kind of to create a new user, right? Uh, so I thought it would be a good idea to have the confirmation email or the confirmation uh, link through email. Currently, it shows something on the log of the application that's not very useful. So let's change that and send that confirmation email through or, or link through email. So for that, the first thing we need to do is to add um, the dependency that allows us to send email. So I'm going to add a new dependency here, Java Mail Sender. I didn't need to generate the, the, the project, but I'm just looking for this dependency here. Spring Boot Starter Mail. So this is a good way of copying that dependency and we can paste it probably after Spring Boot Starter. That should be all right. And I need to load the Maven changes again. Good. So after that, let's go to, to this view, the implementation of this view. It's here. So you see the um, send button. And uh, when it's clicked, I call register. I do a bunch of things, but uh, at the end, I'm just calling another service, which is being injected here, auth service dot register. And then I show a notification. So uh, now we can say check uh, your email. And so let's get inside this method. So what we want to do is instead of uh, printing that in the output, standard output, we want to send an email with that. So we don't need this line. And first we need a dependency for this class. So I'm gonna create a new private final mail sender variable here. And let's add it in the constructor. So now we can use that. And over here, uh, we can just say, or actually, first we need to create a new simple uh, mail message. And then we can use the mm, mail sender to send that message. Of course, we need to fill in a couple of things here. So at least we need the probably uh, set two. So this is two this user, we're going to use the username for that. So this, this has to be an email and we should add validations and all that, but I'll leave that as an exercise for you. But technically, this is an email. Then you should go and probably refactor all these uh, um, fields and methods in the repositories and, and everything. Uh, it shouldn't be that, that hard, at least not for this application, which is very simple. Anyway, but I'll leave that out. Uh, you get the idea. So we have two. We probably need to also set from. And let's say this comes. It is usually something like no, um, no reply at example.com. And we can set also, what else? Maybe the subject, mention, email or um, whatever message dot set text we have it in a variable already um, and we're going to leave it as that like that i mean uh, you get the idea right you, you can read this from a from a file that has html and it's it has proper uh, format but uh, again i'll leave that as an exercise what else do we need to do here um i think that's it now uh how can we configure the server? So I, I downloaded and I, I'm running this. Actually, it's not running yet, the server, but I have a, something called fake SMTP server. Oh, so this is the application that, or the server that this Spring Boot application is going to interact with in order to send an email. And uh, um, it uses this protocol to do it. So, um, so we need that server. You probably would use something like uh, like Gmail or Yahoo or any other provider, uh, but for 
for simplicity, we're going to uh, use this fake SMTP server. Then we need to configure the location of that server. So there are properties for that. Let's add them here. Spring.mail, for example, host should be local host because we have the server in our own machine, right? This one here. Then we need the port. I think I used 9090. And because we are using um, this uh, fake server, we don't need to specify anymore in anything else. But uh, if you're using Google, for example, or Gmail, you would have to uh, configure the username and the password at least. And uh, here you have to, to use the, uh, the host that uh, your provider uh, tells you to use. But so that's it for here now, for for the configuration. Now um, let's try to run this, and I tried this before, and so uh, um, it doesn't work because there is a there is a problem. But I, I wanted to show you how to how I solved it in case you run into similar problems in the future. Okay, so let's see. Let me clear the output here. We can use anything, of course. Uh, you will have to use something like this, right? Uh, but it doesn't matter right now. It doesn't really matter because we're using the fake server. And there we go. So we have an exception here. So this uh, this says uh, no, no such method error. And it apparently cannot find this in a method or as a constructor. So it seems like uh, the problem is that uh, kind of create that class. So if I go and uh, try to find that class, I'll see that huh, there are two, right? So there are um, the, the class is in two jars. Let's put it that way. Actually, the jars are here. So we need to uh, remove one of them because there is a conflict. So Java doesn't know what which one to use. That's what's happening here. So it's a, a class path problem. And uh, one way to um, try to find that, let's say we want to remove this one, mail API. So we go here and say maven dependency tree. And then we try to look, locate, uh, what was it again? Mail API, mail API. So it's here. All right, good. So we don't want that. So we need to know which jar this is in. And that's what uh, this uh, goal is useful. So it's uh, it's right right here, dividing jar. So we can add, uh, we can exclude that in the palm the maximum file. So it's this one, right? So exclusions, exclusion, and then we need to know that. So it was, uh, where, where is it again? So this is a dependency we need to exclude. So I'm going to copy all that. Now this is the actual uh, the um, artifact ID. I think that's it. All right, so it's compiling. So now we, we're, what we are doing here is just removing that one. Now I, then I need to um, reload the Maven project, the IDE, and I think that should be it. So let's uh, let's actually compile manually, and then I'm going to run the application again and see if that solves the problem. All right, so let's um, clear the output, refresh clear again and let's try check your email no exceptions very good so now let's go to the uh, this is this is at the same time a client kind of uh, so this is what the person is going to see the user so from no reply to my, my email address confirmation email and here is the 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 content so I can copy this in a, in a real more uh, mm, or yeah in a real uh, um, 
email client you will just click that and go to this page and account activated now I can log in all right so I think that's it for this video let me know if you have any questions or ideas on what to cover in the future thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video